Yo, what is up guys? How are you doing? Welcome back to Rule of Two Review. So today is really exciting because I'm finally talking about Metroid again. And I realized as I prepared to make this video that I haven't talked about Metroid in a really, really long time, which has kind of been good because I feel like I maybe needed a break from the Metroid news and conversation. Maybe you guys did as well. Not like I ever stopped thinking about and being excited about Metroid and Samus, but it was getting a little bit crazy there and I needed to change up the content. But, now that it has been a couple of weeks, there happens to be a pretty interesting rumor floating out there, and I know that sometimes people like or really hate the idea of discussing rumors. I like talking about rumors. This is exciting because it has to do with Metroid Prime 4, so let's just dive into what this could possibly mean. So this rumor comes from everyone's favorite and super reliable rumor source, Reddit, and I do have to give props to uh, OJ over at Player Essence. He made a video uh, yesterday or the day before, actually, discussing... All of the rumors that were discussed in this very long Reddit post, there was one person on Reddit who basically laid out a whole game plan for like 10 or 12 pretty big rumors surrounding Nintendo and the Switch. And a lot of them are very exciting, but of course they're A, just rumors, and B, coming from Reddit. So there's only so much stock we can put in this. Doesn't mean it's not still fun to talk about it. And I will highly recommend if you guys haven't watched uh, OJ's video that you do, because he really runs down and breaks down all of the rumors from this post. I'm just going to focus on the Metroid thing, because that's where my expertise mostly lies, and I'm honestly just mostly excited excited about it, but there's a lot of good stuff there, stuff even about Animal Crossing and whatnot, some other Nintendo Direct sort of rumors, so definitely go and check out his video. But for us right here today, we're going to talk about the Metroid Prime 4 specific post that this individual did discuss on Reddit, and I'll go ahead and quickly read to you what this post is, and then we'll kind of dive into what it could all mean. So in this long Reddit post, amongst so many other really exciting and pretty interesting pieces of news and rumors, was this quote, Metroid Prime 4 should have something revealed with some in-game footage early next year from what I've heard. I'm hearing that direct in January particularly. Bandai Namco is developing the game for Nintendo. I don't know which development studio. So there you go. It's not a huge list of rumors, but it is a couple of really, really huge things to discuss when it comes to Metroid Prime 4 and what's being stated here. So, I should, before continuing any further, remind you guys, even though we've, I've already kind of mentioned it on this video, I'm going to remind you one more time, this is Reddit, and it's a rumor. So, I don't know how much we should really believe this. I do want to discuss the possibilities, of course, that's the fun in this, but we really need to remember that this is probably shooting for the stars to believe that we could believe any of what this person here is saying. But touching on the first thing that they discussed, uh, Metroid Prime 4 having some in-game footage revealed early next year. So my personal theory and feeling is that yes, at some point next year in 2018, we've got to see some actual footage of Metroid Prime 4, right? I mean, it would be crazy to think that we wouldn't. And you've heard me say numerous times, including on the Spawn cast even last night before recording this video, that I still do ultimately believe Metroid Prime 4 will release in 2019. Now, even if that is true, that doesn't mean that it's still not impossible to see footage next year. I've honestly always felt Metroid Prime 4 released in 2019, but obviously footage and a trailer and all sorts of big pushes in marketing from Nintendo would obviously come in 2018. It seems like E3 would be an ideal time. So I certainly do feel that in a Nintendo Direct or more likely at E3, we'd have the first official reveal, which would absolutely include in-game footage of Metroid Prime 4 gameplay. We know how Nintendo likes to do things. They keep stuff close to their chest until they're ready to reveal actual solid information and video and gameplay of a game. The next time they show us Metroid won't be just a logo. They did this as like sort of a one-off because they were excited to make the promise of a console Metroid game and a Samus game. And so I and most of us were fine with just a logo and no other details at E3 last year. But at this point, the same old Nintendo is probably going to kick in here, and the next time they ever discuss Metroid Prime 4, I will guarantee with 99% certainty they will have video and they will have actual gameplay. They won't show us just cutscenes and CG or any of that stuff. They're going to give us gameplay. So E3 makes the most sense, but obviously it is absolutely not impossible that they do it in a Direct. And then the question becomes, when would we see that Direct? This person here on this Reddit post mentions a January Nintendo Direct. And I have a couple of feelings on that. One is that I do think it is very likely we get a Direct in January. So I think that there probably is some truth to that. The time frame of the first month of 2018, Nintendo's going to open up strong with the Direct. I really feel like 
there's not much to go on here. This is just a gut feeling, but I feel like Nintendo maybe wants to start taking advantage of the very, very early weeks of every year and make that a time for Nintendo to kind of put out a Nintendo Direct or address the gamer and, and the Nintendo fan with some sort of information. They did it last year with the January Switch event, um, you know, kind of previewing and showing off and giving all the final details of price and release date of the Switch. And whereas that could be seen as like a one-off thing they did just because of the u uniqueness of the Switch launching in March, I think that still they might want to take advantage of that. And I mean, even what's notoriously considered their best Direct was in January also back in 2013. So maybe Nintendo wants to start taking advantage and make that, you know, January, even February time annually kind of a good time for them to make a really cool Nintendo Direct. So I'm tending to believe the idea that yes, a Nintendo Direct will happen in January, but... I don't think that that is necessarily saying that we could for sure expect Metroid Prime 4 gameplay. In my brain, since I happen to think that the game is 2019, I feel like a January Direct would just be way too early to first show off that gameplay. In a world where I'm correct about 2019 being the release date for the game, that means they would end up showing gameplay over a year before the game would release. And again, that's not something Nintendo typically does. None of this is impossible. I mean, I've said a thousand times that I could be wrong on 2019 and maybe the game is 2018, but it also isn't impossible that Nintendo would decide to show gameplay over a year before the game launches in a January Direct. I mean, that's what rumors are. There's like that 50-50 shot that they're correct. I don't know that I believe it, but it's not. It, that doesn't necessarily mean that I'm wrong or that this does end up happening. That being said, I'm still going to stick to my guns personally, since this is my video and my channel, and I'm sharing my thoughts. And I believe that while we will probably get a January Direct, I don't expect to see Metroid Prime 4 footage in it. I expect it in either a Nintendo Direct in the month or weeks or so before E3, because I do think we've seen Nintendo do that plenty of times over the past few years, like a, a one month prior E3 Nintendo Direct, and then of course in the couple of weeks after as well. But I ultimately think either in that Direct or at E3 specifically is when Nintendo will probably first officially show us gameplay and give us information and hopefully some sort of release window or release date for Metroid Prime 4. Now, let's get into the last and what I think is probably the biggest rumor coming from this statement and this Reddit post. And that is the idea that Bandai Namco might actually be the company developing the game for Nintendo. Now, that is a loaded concept for many reasons, uh, mostly because typically we know Retro worked on the first three games, and then of course we also know that Nintendo confirmed Retro is not working on Metroid Prime 4, Bandai Namco has worked with Nintendo on Smash Brothers and other things in the past, they've also recently said that they are working on three exclusive games for the Switch, plus there are other rumors about other things from Bandai Namco such as Dark Souls or Dragon Ball Fighter Z coming to the Switch, so there's like a lot going into the idea when you take Nintendo, Metroid Prime 4, and Bandai Namco and just wrap them up into one thing, into one nice neat little package. So I will say, Especially when you consider the recent co confirmed statement from Bandai Namco that says we are working on three exclusive Switch games that we will reveal soon. It's like, okay, well that kind of does line up with this statement that maybe one of those games would actually be a Nintendo IP and it would maybe be Metroid Prime 4. I do believe that the relationship between Nintendo and Bandai is obviously very, very strong. So maybe Nintendo would trust Bandai Namco to make a Metroid game. We have seen them do that before, and I know everyone's going to groan when I say this, but Nintendo did let a third-party studio develop a mainline Metroid game with Other M. That was Team Ninja. That was not Nintendo. It was not an internal Nintendo team. They let a third-party company play with one of their biggest and most beloved IPs, and Obviously, we all know it didn't turn out well for most people. I like Metro or I like Other M a lot, but most people didn't, and I do understand that. But there's still the precedence for Nintendo to do so. However, that being said, going off of just my gut feeling, I'm not telling you inside info or a rumor that I've personally heard, and I'm trying to start this rumor. I'm just telling you my gut feeling. I don't believe that it's Bandai. I think the main reason I don't believe it's Bandai is really just because of the way Nintendo sort of phrased the way that they described Metroid Prime 4 during E3. I think it was like the same day or even the next day after their um, their E3 showcase where they revealed the Metroid Prime 4 logo. And I think it was even Reggie, but don't even quote me on this. Somebody important with Nintendo had basically discussed Metroid Prime 4. It's where they confirmed that it is first person 
obviously, I mean, some people thought it wouldn't, but obviously it's first person. They also confirmed that Retro is not developing it. And the way they phrased it, I didn't pull up the exact quote here, I'm just kind of riffing off my head and paraphrasing, but they ultimately stated, we've kind of just created a new team also working with Tanabi to create Metroid Prime 4. It is something internal, something that we have put together just for this game. Although I should add that even still, that doesn't completely rule out Bandai. What's really interesting about this is, even if Nintendo has a lot of their own people, on a newly created internal team working on Metroid Prime 4, it's still not impossible that they might also be working with another studio. I mean, that's basically what they did with Platinum and Star Fox Zero. And I think that it's entirely possible if there is some sort of other third-party developer, Bandai Namco, or even somebody else, any other studio, that yeah, maybe what, what they were saying is we have our own internal team, which includes internal Nintendo developers and also a team from a third-party studio, which again, could certainly be something like a Bandai Namco. So even that theory that I'm laying out that I don't believe it's Bandai Namco doesn't entirely rule it out either. It's really tough to say, but for some reason, again, I'm just going to continue to go on my gut feeling that I don't feel like Bandai Namco is the studio involved with this game. I really firmly believe that it is mostly made up of an internal Nintendo team only. Folks who hopefully even worked with Retro and worked on the original Metroid Prime games, or at least some of those games. But I think it's mostly Tanabi and Nintendo people working on this game. I should say... If it was Bandai Namco, let's say that it turns out to be confirmed to be Bandai Namco, which, you know, one last reminder, I do absolutely acknowledge that that could somehow turn out to be true. Even if it was them, I think I would be excited enough, and I would be totally okay with it. I like Bandai Namco, I think that they're talented, and, and I think that they could do probably well on a Metroid Prime game if Nintendo was really, really super involved. But I have to say, I think my preference here is for it to still remain internally Nintendo only developers and if they were going to bring in someone else to either develop it entirely or develop it alongside of Nintendo's people that there's probably some other developers that I feel might be better choices and I mean Platinum is one of the few studios jumping to mind I've even honestly thought that Monolith would be a great team I doubt they could because obviously they're they're so busy with Xenoblade Chronicles 2 still but those are kind of more studios that jump to mind as appropriate for Metroid Prime 4 but, you know what, it's at this point, it's there's not much more I think that we can say on it. I mean, there's a lot of thing, there's a lot of reasons to believe that Bandai Namco might be working on Metroid Prime 4. Absolutely. My gut feeling is that it's not Bandai Namco, and it's more than likely Nintendo-only people on a, on a newly created internal team, hopefully consisting of people who worked on the original games, or a different studio might be working on it that's not Bandai Namco. But, we really just don't know, do we? I guess we're just going to have to wait and see how these rumors play out. So I think that's where I'm going to wrap this up for me today. But I want to know what you guys think. Do you feel like these rumors are all true? Do you think that there's some of them that are true and some of them that aren't? Do you feel like Bandai Namco would be the team working on Metroid Prime 4? Do you believe Nintendo would let them do it? Or do you think that it would be Nintendo-only people working on it like I do? Do you expect to see the game in January? I know most people expect Metroid Prime 4 to release in 2018. I'm one of the few people who believe in 2019. And if that's the case, then discuss what you think about how the timeline breaks down with when we'll see the game, when the uh, next 2018 Direct is going to happen, when do you expect to see the game launch, all these crazy things, and... You know, I mean, do you just do you just believe this Reddit post? Do you believe this rumor here? I mean, discuss all this crazy fun Metroid stuff below. I'm so glad I had a reason to discuss Samus and Metroid again. And that's going to be it today. So thanks as always for tuning in, guys. This is Rob of Rule of Two Review, and I will catch you next time on another video.